Steve, today is April 1st. Yeah, April Fool's Day, yeah. <laughs> but it's also the birthday of your great friend and your uh, uh, main influential guy in Jeff Porcaro. Jeff Porcaro. Speaking of I am alive, I mean, there's, there's the opposite end of the spectrum of that. I'm, yeah, I'm a survivor. I can honestly tell you, at 52 years old, I'm a survivor now, yeah. Hmm. I've kind of looked at life from a different point of view than I did even a year ago. But I'm reflecting back on this. Today is Jeff's birthday. I would have been 55 years old today. One of the most influential people in my whole life. You know. Why was he so influential? He was magical, man. You know, you meet people in life that just when they walk into a room, it just gets brighter. He just had an aura. He had a special something. He wasn't just a great drummer. I mean, obviously he was brilliant, but when he played, there was just no one will ever be like that, and that's why everybody wanted him to be their drummer. But I got to actually be in a band with him, you know. And he was a great father, and he was a great friend, and he helped so many other musicians. I and mean, he was, he was just hip. Like you know, he always had the hippest clothes, the hippest music. He was always into the, the newest music before anybody else was. He just had his finger on the pulse of life, and, and he was a hilarious person, and a beautiful soul. And I miss him very, very, very much. I mean, it's, so I played a song for him, yeah. you know, today. Made influence on your life, also on your career. Yeah, well, I mean, he, yeah, I mean, he was, he was the guy we all wanted to be like. You know, when you meet somebody like that in your life, you know, it's outside of your own parents or whatever, you yeah. know, when you're a kid, you know, I want to be like that or whatever, but this, he was a very special soul, you know. How and hard was, is it for a guy like you to leave those 31 years of Toto behind you and start your solo career? Well, it seemed like a natural progression. I mean, as, you know, when we all started out, we were a high school band. It just kind of morphed into, they put this stamp called Toto. Always hated the name Toto, by the way. Just, Why? I always hated the name. <laughs> it's a stupid name. I mean, our, our, the, our, our, the name of our band in high school was Still Life, which I thought was a cooler name. Yeah. But I lost on that bet. And now I'll be forever the guy from Toto. Yeah. But, you know, Toto was very good to me, so I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying... But we went from that to this, um, to where I am today. I mean, if you'd have told me when I was a kid here, I'd be sitting all these years later after. Total, just sort of uh, each member, David sort of retired, David Page, and then, you know, Steve left the band in 80, 87, but stayed on until 88. We've been through, like, a bunch of different singers. Um, we lost Jeff, you know, slowly but surely the onion peeled away till it was just me in the middle of it. And yeah. I was going, didn't feel right to me to keep continuing on to do this. Mike Picaro's, he's uh, sick, he's got ALS, you know, which has left him unable to play and able to move in some cases, you know. Yeah. And so uh, we are getting back together again to do a, uh, the original, as many of the original guys as we can get together and the high school guys which would be David Page on keyboards, Steve Picard on key, uh, keyboards, nice. myself, um, Joseph Williams is coming back to sing, who hasn't sung with us live in 20 some odd years, and he was a high school bro. Hmm. He wasn't the original singer, Bobby was the original singer, but we thought it would be fun for this, to bring him back for this. And then uh, Simon Phillips is gonna sit in for Jeff. Great line. And then we have uh, Nathan East is gonna sit in for Mike on bass. Yeah. And we have a couple of background singers, new ones that we've uh, found. So we're going to come back out for three weeks this summer and help raise some money for Mike, um, his, some of his medical stuff, and, and to, for his family, and also to make some awareness of the LS disease, which is a horrible disease, you know, and look into that. And God bless, you know. So that's why we're doing that. But Toto was very good to me. I have, I, I, it was just time for me to move on, you know. It was very good to have you in the studio today. On Thanks this a lot, April man. 1st, special day. Yes, special God bless you, Jeffrey. In Avon. And you're going to do a song for Jeff. I'm going to, I'm going to play a song. With uh, Jeroen Riedbergen. The J-Boy, my new yeah. man. Yeah. Yep. yeah. God bless. Thank you very much for having me, man. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Cheers. Yeah, Steve Lukather here in 2 meter sessie die deze dagen in ons land is. Onder meer met Jeroen Riedbergen, Tom Dijkman en Michel van Schie. Naar aanleiding van uh, het feit dat hij de Eddie Christiani Award heeft uh, gewonnen. We krijgen nu één nummer, omdat vandaag 1 april is onze opnamedag vandaag. Song for Jeff. Here is another one. Steve, look at her.